All right, uh, I guess I'll do my best to commentate this while running the stream. Um, this is pretty obviously a really difficult matchup for Ganondorf. Um, Sheik pretty much outspeeds him. Uh, most of her moves are already fairly safe, and Ganondorf's punishes aren't exactly the fastest. However, uh, Sheik is pretty light, so she can't actually afford to take that many punishes. Um, as you can see, Kaizen really enjoys using uh, Up Smash as a sort of gimmick, because it recovers a lot more quickly than it looks. So he usually uh, intentionally whiffs an Up Smash and then goes into something else, hoping that you'll just run straight into it. Uh, right now, Clarel playing more safe. Um, doesn't want to take a hit. He's already at 62. Um, a bad hit could actually immediately kill him at this percent, especially with full rage. Uh, wow, that actually nearly did it. Um, tried to recover to the ledge with down B. Was just a little off. There you can see Clario actually uh, reacting pretty smartly. He saw the up smash whiff, ran in and shielded instead of uh, immediately going for a punish. Uh, managed to shield the forward tilt frame trap. Oh, I don't know what he went for there. I guess he wanted to like go for a kamikaze um, spike since he was already up a stock. Uh, it's alright, he still has his stock right now, but uh, at this point he no longer has any insurance. Alright, misses the forward air string. Kai's on offstage again. Uh, Charles gets the grab. Um, ooh, misses the punish and eats the second hit of down smash. Still at a pretty low percent though, so Ganon has to land like a good two or three more hits before Charles will actually be in trouble. Alright, up smash this time just rolls away. Uh, Clariel runs in and lands a tipper up smash, but Ganondorf's a fairly heavy character, doesn't even go off screen from it. Uh, Clario's shield is suffering pretty hard right now. Uh, he probably can't afford to run in and shield uh, too many more of Ganon's pokes. Ooh, Ganon just goes straight, straight for a command throw. Uh, instead of going for the forward tilt on no tech punish, he attempts to tech chase with a forward smash. Uh, Clario rolled the wrong direction for that to work. Alright, at this point, ooh wow, um, at this point Sheik has no guaranteed combos off of throws, so uh, Clario has to either go for an immediate aerial and, ooh, um, actually, I guess he managed to edge guard with grenade, um, that's not an often seen option, so Kaizen was noticeably caught off guard by it. Alright, so, like I was saying, uh, Sheik doesn't have any guaranteed combos uh, once the opponent hits a high percent. So, her options are either to go immediately for the aerial and hope that they didn't choose to air dodge, or um, the, like, more of a read option is, since most people will try to air dodge to escape uh, the immediate follow-up, uh, she can delay the, the, uh, she can delay her follow-up hit with either down B or a uh, vanish, both of which would probably kill at that percent. Alright, uh, punishes the raw wizard foot with up smash. Uh, fairly good damage, I think it's like 15 raw. Alright, uh, good grenade actually. Uh, I think Clario originally just intended that to uh, pressure Kaizen back onto the stage, but Kaizen attacked on, off from the ledge and uh, it left him in enough recovery to eat the grenade hit and actually die from it. Alright. Um, and Kaizen dies a quick death in game 2. Clario takes it 2 0. Uh, fairly convincingly, but I mean, <laughs> that is a really rough matchup. <laughs> 